Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down Magic the Gathering online today uh, because right now I'm uh, pretty much locked out of Arena. So I figured we'll jump in here and uh, we'll start playing with our Popper Slivers deck. Uh, I did go ahead and uh, purchase a deck on here. I've been wanting to play with Slivers. Uh, so that's what we're going to try to run today since uh, Arena is kind of uh, shutting me out right now. This is a fine hand so we'll keep it um when i first got into magic i just mulliganed that hand holy cow what did i just do that was a great hand okay off to a fantastic start as you can see that is awesome uh yeah that is really fantastic that's not how i wanted to start this game cool <laughs> all right well uh we'll lead with this boy so when i first got into magic uh i, I was all about the tribal merfolk obviously my first choice but my second choice that i always had my eye on were slivers they looked awesome to play with and i did want to build the deck eventually uh, okay, that'll resolve. And that's where we're at. Uh, I finally built a popper deck. I built it in paper. It was a lot of fun. So I uh, decided to get it on online since I have nothing better to do with my time right now. And Arena's uh, not working. So hopefully this goes okay. Uh, I don't play a lot of online and I've only played it a few times and I haven't played it in like five months. So... <laughs> Apologies in advance uh, if if I'm terribly inefficient with this game because I'm still learning how to do everything efficiently and I can't I still can't believe I mulliganed that hand that was a great hand to start and now I'm just uh, off to the races here uh, with like nothing on board so. Absolutely terrible way to start. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's lead with one of our lords. Popper Slivers has been a lot of fun. Uh, again, I I built the deck in paper, and it's just been a ton of fun to play with. So I'm glad I finally got to build my Slivers deck. Eventually, I'd like to build a, a modern version of the deck, but I'm in no rush for that. Popper Slivers are. Psh, just as powerful as is i mean it's such a powerful deck and it's a lot of fun to play with so he's gonna swing we're gonna take it oh he's not gonna swing all right that's fine okay lead the stampede let's keep putting out our lords we'll just keep building the board for now uh, counter? What are we doing here? Counter. Okay. That's fine. Go through this turn. Alright. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I, I considered holding up Vines of Aswood for protection, but, uh... Now we're just setting behind quite a bit. I still don't know what we're up against. Uh, I don't know all the decks and poppers super well right now. So, I'm uh, kind of going in a little blind. I don't know what to expect or what I should be looking out for. What I should be playing around. So, my game might be a little bit shaky as well. We just keep getting lords. No lands. Which typically wouldn't be a huge deal, but he's not letting us build the board up, so. Build through this turn. <laughs> he's got two cards in hand. Alright, so he's delved for the angler. Yep, not blocking. Alright, finally a land, 
So we're going to go ahead and we're going to beef up our, our boys here. And we'll hold up vines just in case they try to target. Uh, I'm just going to cast this, target that. X proof. They're uh, at zero cards, so the board is is up. They're top decking. They got a, a lot of good stuff on the field, though. And if they get a removal next turn, not going to be super great. Just to land. Okay. Probably swing in with the death touch here. Yep. That's fine. I'm not worried about the death touch. Uh, I am considering, right now I've got Lead the Stampede in the deck, but I'm considering putting in Adventurous Impulse, because I almost think it's a little bit better just to have a one drop that lets us dig a little bit uh, instead of a three drop. Uh, this card does have its, its benefits, but I don't know if it's completely worth it in the end. Alright, so all our boys will have Vigilance, and we'll uh, pass to them. land still just swinging for two obviously at this point if we don't draw into anything good we're gonna lead the stampede and start uh, filling the board up on the turn after all right forest so let's lead we'll go here Take all our guys. Any order. Journey to Nowhere would have been a little bit helpful to get rid of the angler. Uh, but this is fine. Flanking is nice. I think we're just gonna... He's got nothing in hand, so I think we're gonna play the Lord while we can. Slowly but surely building this board. And I'm actually going to swing in with our Sentinel. Start maybe uh, clearing the board a little bit. If he wants to trade with the Angler, I'm fine with that. Chances are I think he's just going to take the five here. Maybe not though. All right. And that's fine, too. I, I just want him to have less creatures. So, four fours and a five five. This is why I like slivers and popper, man. A lot of fun. Uh, while he's taking his turn, I hope you guys are enjoying the wonderful music that's uh, playing in the background. That is the Native Howl. Uh, that's a local band here from Michigan. I've done some artistic work for them in the past. Really good group of guys. I've been friends with them for a long time, and the producer I've been a, has been a childhood friend of mine for quite a long time as well. Uh, so I'll link in the description all their stuff and all their music, and if you enjoy it, please go show them some support. They definitely deserve a lot more credit. Very passionate uh, passionate guys uh, with a lot of talent. So let's... Uh, we're going to empty our hands since they're they're out here. Play this guy. Play this one. Play this one. Now we've got a board. And we go to attack. I almost want to just push in with everything, but hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. So we actually can push in with everything, and the angler will die because of the flanking we have on right now. So let's go ahead and swing in and see what they do. They'll eat one of our guys, uh, but that's okay. They're they're uh. 
They're on the back pedal now. So. This will be quite good. Oh, I always forget to press OK on certain parts. My bad, my bad. Yep. Yep, still gonna die. Dies, dies. Flanking, flanking. Boom, good trade, good deal. Alright, we're making our way back here from uh, the terrible mulligan that I just did. And they concede. So let's begin the sideboard. Uh, we'll bring in Gutshot, that seems good. Uh, we're gonna bring out... Let's bring out our spinnerets. We don't need them. And... Sunlance... Uh, might be useful. I think the gut shot is pretty good. I don't know. Sideboarding uh, is still something I'm learning. What would you guys bring in? Let me know in the comments if you'd bring in Sunlance or maybe a couple extra journeys. Maybe for the Gurmog Angler. Um, in fact, I might. I might bring in one of those. Hmm. Let's cut. Let's cut one of these and bring in one more journeys. Just because I don't really know the deck we're actually dealing with here, so I'm not sure. Alright. Let's try not to mulligan our fantastic hand. And this is a good hand, so we will keep this. Keep. We'll lead with our metallic. Uh, just in case they try to get us to sacrifice something again. Maybe we'll actually lead with Blossoming Sands. Yeah, let's lead with Blossoming Sands. I think that might be better. Um, let them tap out a little bit. I don't want them doing anything funny here. If you guys want to see me play some more uh, Popper Slivers, let me know, because I'm all for it. I think it's a, a lot of fun, and it's something I've been wanting to do on the channel for a little bit. So if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like and let me know if you want to see more. Now this video might be a little bit longer than what I'm used to. Ooh, okay, Precinct 6, interesting. He got printed at a common? No way. That's insane. That's crazy that he got uh, printed at a common. Has he got anything else? No, all right. So tapped out. Let's go here. And lead with one of these guys. See what happens. See if he survives next turn. Hopefully. That'd be nice. through this turn now. Oh, sorry. Phone's going off. And there's the negative two, negative two. Unfortunate. to nowhere is probably going to have to happen next turn. Uh, sure. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Get some creatures on the board. And we can heal through this turn. Oh, 
Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna get Journey to Nowhere real quick. And he's tapping out for it, too. There's a death touch. This is where Gutshot's gonna come in handy. We're gonna take a big hit. Draw into some more gas next turn, hopefully. Let's see what we get here. Binds? Okay, that's excellent, actually. Um, I think we're going to take the opportunity to Blossoming Sands uh, because we are playing Journey. Hitting him. Oh, do I gotta click, click? There we go. See, I told you guys I'm not very efficient right now with this. He's tapped out, and he's got one card in hand, and we've got protection. So we're going to go ahead and just yield through this turn again. Yep. And we got Vines of Asswood if we need it. Okay, he gets an Angler. Still need some more gas here. Gut shot, perfect. Um, hmm. So he can deal with both creatures this turn, which is good. So let's go... Uh, do this. Yeah, didn't we do that? There we go. And he's tapped out. Wait, what? Oh no! Wow. Oh, I just messed up. Wow. Ah, oh, frick. Well, that just helped them a ton, didn't it? Tell you what, we're still going to get rid of everything. We're still going to attack in, clear the board out. my stop here all right let's cast with the kicker go here now nobody has anything except for me I got one thing no I don't never mind I guess wasn't he a six six Did I read that wrong We'll yield through this turn because there's nothing we can do. Another death touch. Well, at least he's talking. That's fun. Ah, oh, it's so nice to be able to talk to people at least, though. <laughs> Take his other guy. And we are both top decking, people. Just to land. Give me some gas. Oh, lordy. All right, well, we're going to keep it in our hand. Pass to him. white that's not good that's a big boy all right it's gonna be hard now yeah we messed up we could have uh could have really had that win and uh we just completely jacked it up so this will be going to game three it looks like 
mulligan the first game and we shouldn't have gut shatted ourselves when we oops when we didn't mean to uh, lovely 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 Well, we'll uh, we'll concede this. We'll go to game three. I think the sideboard's fine right now if we can actually pull off doing gut shot correctly and not messing it up. Uh, I guess I just need to slow down and play a little bit better. Submit the deck here. So yeah, adventurous impulse over lead the stampede. What do you guys think? I really like Lead the Stampede, and it allows you to like, bring in so many creatures to your hand. Uh, but is it really worth the three mana? Uh, does that slow us down too much, or does that just help us out if we can skip a turn and drop three creatures on the next? Still play testing it. Uh, I do tend to lean more towards uh, Lead the Stampede right now. We'll play first. Um, well... We need to draw into a forest, but let's keep this. Let's see what happens. You'll do this turn. We'll yield through their turn two. There we go. Awesome. All right, so let's, uh, let's play it out. Oh, there we go. Swing in. No removal yet, so that's good. There's this death touch. All right, so we got to retry the, uh, the gut shot if we can draw into it. All right, cool. So we can play our hand out here. And we are gonna go ahead and swing in. I don't know if he's gonna wanna target one of these. Or if he's going to want to wait till we try to swing in with the Lord. But he is going to take it, so that's fine. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Thought for a second there, I thought we moved to damage. So we'll trade this. Uh, chances are he's probably got another one in his hand. We do hit him for a poisonous. We'll uh, yield through this turn again. Let me guess another one. Oh, okay. Doomblade. Alright. Doesn't want the points of this counters, but guess what? It's coming back out, so I'm very sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and tap for our green. Tap right there. Swing, swing. We're bringing the, the, the infect. We're bringing the infect hard. Got a lot of things to deal with here. And he missed his land drop. Alright, I'm fine with that. You can bring that back to my hand. It's just going to get played next turn. Taking out that. That's fine too. Guess what? You're at 13 life. We're still going to be able to beef up our boys next turn. There we go. Flames. goes in combat oh this guy there we go hit him for four bring him to nine hopefully I'm making this game move relatively fast I set my key binds uh, to make it easier for me what are the best keybinds to have up? Uh, let me know what the best keybinds are for this game. 
angler. All right. Well, he might get an extra turn out of this. almost want to play lead the stampede I think I'm gonna we're just gonna get a bunch of stuff here muscle all right Journey to nowhere goes down but we can cast two lords next turn hmm Push through for four damage. I'm the guy that always wants to swing, right? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna pass to them. We're gonna set up for a big swing next turn. I must say, if they have four cards in hand, they could have a removal here, and then it would have been a waste of our thing. That's not good. Four four, huh? All right. He's gonna swing in. Interesting. I will take it. I need a four so I can play two of these guys. That's what I really need right now. So I just realized we're only on one. Vigilance helps. Um, we should have led with sil Sliver. Yep, we should have led with the other one. Oh, that was stupid of me. Oh, okay, he's just returning. Alright. Fair enough. Ah, that's actually fine, though, because it's just going to come back out. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. I didn't want to move to my next phase. Oh, that's bullcrap, man. That is annoying. Well, that's what this game is known for, right? Just not being able to... Uh, just making mistakes really easily that could cost you the game, essentially. <laughs> Alright, he grows. That's going to be an issue. Will he swing? He will swing. Oh. Not gonna swing. Okay. Give me a forest. I'll take it. That's fine. Uh, let's pay here. Let's pay here. And now we will swing in. Put the herd on. I think we just won. Yeah, we just won. We're good. And we're at uh, 30 minutes. I probably could have played this a little bit faster. Won the match. All right. Cool. Well. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, playing some popper slivers with me today. Something a little bit different, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I made this video as fast as I could. <laughs> I know we're at 28 minutes right now. 29 minutes, actually. But uh, let me know uh, how I can make uh, myself more efficient with this game since I'm still pretty new to it. And uh, stay tuned because I don't know what's coming this week. Arena's been offline for me for the past two and a half days now. Uh, so I don't know... Uh, when it's gonna be fixed I've submitted tickets I don't know what's happening with it so I guess we're just gonna be playing some MTGO this week playing some popper and going from there so if you guys want to see uh, more popper this week just for a change of pace to switch it up stay tuned and uh, make sure to go check out the native howl I'm gonna link their stuff in the description uh, again they really deserve a lot of a lot more support than than they get they're on tour right now they've been uh, they just put out a new album uh, it's fantastic highly recommend Check them out. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.